Because I come from the West Indies. Certain people in England seem to think I is an expert on palm trees. So not wanting to sever this link with the native roots, know what I mean, or disappoint culture vulture, I a smile cool as sea breeze, and say to them, which specimen you interested in? Because you're talking to the right man. I name Palm Tree King. I know Palm Tree history like the palm of my hand. In fact, my navel string buried under a palm tree. <laughs> if you think the queen could wave, you ain't seen nothing yet till you see the Roystonia Regia. That is the royal palm which she crown of leaves waving calm, calm over the blue Caribbean carpet, nearly 100 feet of royal highness. But tell me, what is it you want to know? How tall a palm tree does grow? What is the biggest coconut I ever seen? What is the average length of a leaf? Don't expect me to be brief. Because palm tree history is a long, long story. Anyway, if you're so interested in length and circumference, that kind of talk don't touch the essence of palm tree mystery. That kind of talk is no challenge to a palm tree historian like me. If you want statistics, ask me something more tricky. Ask me something with mathematical profundity. Ask me if an American tourist with a camera take nine minutes to climb a coconut tree. How long an English tourist without a camera will take to climb the same coconut tree? Now, I come in harder. I come in harder. If six straw hat and half a dozen bikini multiply by the same number of coconut tree equal one postcard. How many square miles of straw hat you need to make a tourist industry? <laughs> Find the solution and you've got a revolution. Find the solution and you've got a revolution. But before you say anything, let I, Palm Tree King, give you this warning. I want the answer in metric. <laughs> it kind of rhyme with tropic. Besides, it's some more exotic.